but why did I switch to keyboard and mouse? Some of you guys have been asking me this in the comments. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you a little story. And yeah, so let's go. Alright. So, first day ever. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, sorry about that. Um, I've been clearing my throat a lot, but yeah. First day of keyboard and mouse for me. I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't press it. Like, it was so, like, I was so delayed. It's probably like five seconds. Like, I had to look down at my keyboard while I was playing Fortnite. It was this, it was the strangest thing ever. Um, but first day, I tried my first ever game. And let's say that didn't really go so well. But, like, what I did when I first uh played on keyboard and mouse was i went into creative tried a little things out and yeah and you guys know my first ever 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 keyboard was that big giant microsoft keyboard and mouse and that wasn't also really helpful because it was like a really bad keyboard and once when you get a gaming keyboard and mouse it's a lot easier than uh i thought it was so, a couple months through, um, my friends started playing on keyboard and mouse. And, because, like, I, I tried keyboard and mouse once, but, like, no, like, this isn't, this isn't for me. And, uh, my friend started playing on keyboard and mouse. He's like, oh, I'm getting better at this. And then he got pretty good at keyboard and mouse. And I felt like I was, like, lonely because... All my friends over here were, well, I had a couple other friends who played on controller. Still do, but, like, I still have a lot of other friends that play on keyboard and mouse. Um, a couple of them start, uh, switched over. I'm like, I wish I could do this. Because I had that big Microsoft keyboard and mouse, and it was just delayed. The mouse was delayed. Everything was just delayed. So, my friend started it. <laughs> And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it, too. So, I, I tried out with the Microsoft keyboard and practice a lot. I mean, yes, I do get a little bit better. But not the best. Um, and then, it was Christmas of 2020. When I got my first ever, like, when I started building my first ever setup, it was, uh, my Chromebook, that square monitor, and then my first ever gaming keyboard and mouse. It was, uh, R-I, or R-K-100, I forget what it is, and then, like, a Logitech mouse, something, I can't remember off the top of my head, sometimes I have to look at it. Well, I got my first ever gaming keyboard and mouse. And yes, it was wired, so I'm like, like, maybe we should move, like, I thought I can, like, I thought it was like a long cable at first, but it's not really that long, to be honest. Um, So I'm like, no way it's supposed to, like, reach all the way, like, the PlayStation is in the back of the the room and uh keyboard and mouse is on this big circle table uh there shouldn't i there should be what was it uh, like a little video that popped up there showing you the back and stuff like that. But, um, anyways, um, <clears throat> so I get my first ever gaming keyboard and mouse, and at the time, at the time, um, my Chromebook couldn't hold Fortnite, and that was when, uh, I found out that GeForce was a thing and I downloaded that on my Chromebook 
And yes, I got the I I I got on Fortnite on my Chromebook using GeForce. And yes, it was pretty good. But like every time I would like make a video, it would just lag the heck out. Like like I would pre I would like m move or no like let let's say I switch to my pickaxe. I had the pump shotgun and I switched to my pickaxe. It was like a five second delay on the recording. So that didn't really help anyways any any wise. Um but um I tried that out for a little bit. When I wasn't recording, when I was just like practicing on my own, it was it was pretty good. It was kind of smooth and all. It's like little here and there, a little laggy, but like not as bad as like the recording. And then after that, Christmas of 2021, I got this bad boy, this PC. And yeah, it was clean and all, because like I didn't have like much stuff up here. I had like, all I had was like speakers and like some trophies and my old gaming uh, keyboard and mouse. My first ever gaming keyboard and mouse and like all this stuff, like lava lamp, all this stuff back there, it wasn't there. It was like, or it was there. It was just up there. It was just all crammed together. <clears throat> so I'm like, you know what? It's probably around like the summerish, like summer break, somewhere around like July seventh or something. I can't remember. I got this uh, Steel Series keyboard and mouse. I like it a lot. Um, I got it at Best Buy. Um, I think it was like $41 for the keyboard and like $30 for the mouse. I mean, yeah, the, I mean, it was, I, I thought it was a pretty good price because this, uh, these keyboard and mouses, it was, uh, they're on sale, uh, I think like 5% or something like that. So I didn't. Uh, instead, I got this. I would have gotten an Apex 3 Pro, but, like, it wasn't on sale. But then, uh, I started finding this YouTuber. His name is Vermax. Um, and then he's telling, uh, his stories, like, oh, how I switched to keyboard and mouse and all that stuff. And I felt like that inspired me, because I... Well, the first ever video I saw of him, it was the craziest thing ever. I, like, I feel like that guy was my soulmate, I guess. I, I don't know. But he, he, he teaches me, like, he taught me all these cool facts and stuff about gaming and stuff like that. So that's basically my story of how I became... A keyboard and mouse user kind of um i hope you guys like this uh video and yeah so see you guys in the next one peace out